Hey everybody, it's Daniel here for Mobile Syrup, and uh, I have just loaded the official version of Android 4.0.3 Ice Cream Sandwich on my trusty Nexus S, and I just wanted to show you because uh, this is a pretty exciting development for all those users who have uh, a Nexus S. Uh, the official version has just been released for AWS variants, so the T-Mobile variant in the US and Wind and Mobilicity in Canada. The uh, install actually is compatible with the Rogers and Bell and TELUS compatible version of uh, the device as well, but uh, it takes a little bit of uh, tweaking, hacking, modding, rooting, and flashing to get it on there. Right now you can head to xdadevelopers.com and uh, take a look at that. But uh, I just wanted to show you it is pretty much as smooth as we expected. So you have your home screen here, you have your five five home screens. Scrolling is really quick. You have the that uh, great uh, flash indicator when you reach the end of the list as you did in Gingerbread. Um, the new app drawer horizontal loads left to right. You can see there uh, then you can head over to the widgets and scroll horizontally to add a widget. So if I want to add my Gmail widget, I can do that right there. You can select your inbox, and there you go. Uh, Gmail, as expected, runs really nicely. So you can scroll left to right depending on your uh, preference. The entire OS actually runs much smoother than the uh, in the original kind of alpha versions of Cyanogen Mod 9 that were released that were based on the Galaxy Nexus um, images and that's because the kernel was still running gingerbread uh, versions so now this has been updated and you can see everything here is as expected from the Galaxy Nexus you can swipe your notifications away uh, the you know your whole Google Reader um, kind of everything works just as expected it's pretty quick much quicker than gingerbread in my opinion you know you can uh, scroll left and right through your different apps so if I load up you know my crackberry here you can see you can also uh, scroll left and right I'm going to open up the browser and load up Mobile Syrup. Uh, the keyboard, as expected, is not quite as accurate as on the Galaxy Nexus, but that's only because it's just a little bit smaller. Uh, response seems to be quite good, not as high as the 1.2 GHz dual core in the Galaxy Nexus, but again, you're not going to get the same speeds on the Nexus S as you as you will on a device that's a year ahead of it. Uh, you can see scrolling is smooth, but page loads a little bit slowly. So let's wait until the entire page loads. There we go. Um, you can load up a new tab here. And I'll load up the New York Times, which is kind of my benchmark page for uh, loading on a mobile device. So you can scroll down to the bottom, and we'll load up the full page. You can see that uh, it loads a kind of half-aliased version, so uh, the text is not quite fully loaded um, when you're scrolling, and that's to kind of increase the overall speed of the refresh rate and uh, give it the appearance that the frame rate has not slowed down at all. Um, I have not loaded Flash on this device, but you'll see that this is the New York Times website and it does support pinch to zoom. So there you go, once it's loaded. A lot of people have complained that when you double tap on the Android, the new browser in Ice, in ice Cream Sandwich, it uh, it doesn't reformat the text correctly. So let's see if that works. Yeah, so and that works pretty well, but you know, up to a point because 
you can see that it's kind of uh, it just takes the path of least resistance here you can see that text taking a second to uh, reformat into its uh, anti-aliased form If you want to get out of that, you can merely swipe away and load your other tab. So you can access your settings from the notification bar. and You have your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and your new addition to Ice Cream Sandwich that a lot of people will appreciate, especially those on uh, kind of lower tiered uh, bandwidth limits, is a mobile data limiter and a warning so you can actually limit what apps use your background data depending on uh, whether they're connected to 3G or Wi-Fi and also how much data they've used individually. Um, you can also see your new battery app here. Uh, the battery life I haven't really had a chance to look at but uh, it is pretty good so far. Uh, definitely better than the Galaxy Nexus which has a much high resolution screen and seems to use battery a lot more. If you go to the more here you see that you have NFC capabilities and with that the new Android Beam feature uh, the Nexus S does support that and as well uh, you have your various um, lock screens including face unlock but uh, it doesn't work right now so if I open that up, it'll error out. Hopefully that's fixed in a future update. Uh, everything else seems to be pretty much standard. You know, we're running Android 4.3, 4.0.3 here, um, which is the latest version that Google has released into the Android open source, uh, Android open source project, rather. Uh, you can see sound is pretty good, and that's about it. So. Uh, you can see also the new camera software has been updated. Now the shutter speed isn't quite as instant as the Galaxy Nexus. It takes about a second to focus and load, but it will give you better shots in the end. And you have your one-stop uh, sharing to Twitter, Google+, Gmail, Picasa, whatever. You can then click on there again and it will go into your gallery and you can scroll through it like that. You can head into your uh, gallery, which gives you a you know an overall look much nicer and cleaner than the gingerbread one, which feigned a 3D interface, but it was much slower than it should have been. Uh, the new multitasking menu as well has been tweaked, but you don't have those software buttons like you do on the Galaxy Nexus. Mm -hmm. So you, know, you have them down here. You just press that right there, and you can scroll up and down and get rid of an app if you don't want it. This is um, the same, uh, you, you get into it the same way as you did in Gingerbread by holding down the home button, but it does allow you to then scroll through your apps and get rid of them. So, you know, you can still swipe to close. Not quite as smooth as the Galaxy Nexus, but it does the job very well. Uh, that's pretty much uh, a quick overlook for you of the 4.0.3 update for the Nexus S. If you do have any other feature requests uh, that you'd like to see uh, for the Nexus S, I'm very happy to take a look at them for you and post them in a future video. Uh, this has been Daniel with Mobile Syrup, and thank you so much for watching.